I think we've made monumental steps. You know, when you're first installing an offense, there's so many elements that go into it from things as simple as, as the cadence to formations to different uh, substitution patterns. And when you first start that, it's very choppy, you know, and the guys did a great job this summer. Uh, you know, we, we had them all here. They had a plan. They had a program. And they really, um, you know, I challenged them at the end of spring that they couldn't come back and this be practice one. It had to be like practice 40 coming out of the spring. And they really did. They had a great summer, and uh, they're a great group to coach. We as a offensive line, we did a lot better today than yesterday, improving every day. We're already light years ahead of where we were in spring. And as a unit, we're just getting better every day. Our goal is to eliminate sacks. We need at least 100-yard games, you know, at least a minimum 100, 150-yard games every game. And we're trying to score points. The thing I like most about this offense is they come out with a purpose. You know, you're in camp, and, and early on there's always enthusiasm, but the nice thing about this group, really since the day we've gotten here, they come out with a purpose, and that purpose is to get better every day. You know, Butch call, talks about it all the time. One of the traits, I think, of a, a mature team or a growing team is you see a lot of guys talking to other guys and kind of coaching them. You know, they're not wandering off, and that's something that I've been really pleased with here early in camp. You know, right now I'm really just focused on the offensive line as it is day two. But I have noticed our, our freshmen are getting better. As at, our offensive linemen freshmen are getting better. I've seen uh, our freshman quarterback, you know, I've seen him get in there, do some reps. But most of the time I'm really focused on the offensive line freshmen. T.O. I, I think is um, the, the biggest thing about T.O., like I said earlier, like a lot of these guys, I think it's coming out each day and trying to find something to improve. And the biggest thing is Thomas at the line of scrimmage. You know, that, that's a part of his game because of his size at wide receiver he needs to be good at because he's going to be stronger than most of the corners that he goes against. So that's that's something that we're, we're working, you know, harder and harder each and every day. And he's willing to listen. Um, we got better as a group, as receivers and as a team. Um, just be just be a lot better than I was last year. Any type of way on and off the field as a helper, as a player, anything. Staying focused, that's the, big, big, the biggest role. Um, the younger guys just trying to stay focused, trying to stay in their playbooks, and that's basically it. I'm looking forward to getting to pads. You know, it's been a while. I love football because I get to hit people, you know. So I know all the other guys, we're just looking forward to getting pads. You know, football's not football without pads, so that's really what we're looking forward to. Consistency is very important to me. And if you, if you study businesses, if you study leadership, it's now you might put it in different words, but it's keep sending that same message over and over and over and over again. And, and whatever means it takes to get that message out. It could be on video clips. It could be a speech. It could be somebody else talking. It could be a player talking. But the message isn't going to change, and the message is come out each day and get better. One, two, three.